You've been wondering about P, haven't you? You're in luck. You may regard your pee as just a waste product to be hastily flushed down the toilet, but some revere it as liquid gold and collect it on the sly. That's right, we are talking about the humble porta potty, the portable outhouse that millions come stumbling out of each year at festivals. If you're using one of the mobile squat boxes from Porta John Systems Incorporated, your liquid deposit may very well end up at a lab for pharmaceuticals.org, a drug development firm whose parent company is Porta John Systems. Pretty clever, huh? The company created a system that separates an enzyme called urokinase from urine and it turns out that this enzyme is effective in dissolving blood clots in the lungs. It's just a matter of collecting enough of it and that's where 90,000 people with full bladders attending Coachella come into the picture. Fine, you're thinking an enzyme in my pee could save a life, but could I drink it and save my own life, say if I were in a survivalist situation in the middle of nowhere with zero access to clean water? Well, yes and no. One idea is that because the urine of a well hydrated person is 95% water that you could swill down the stuff initially and be fine. The problem is that as time passes and you're not flushing out the kidney with fresh water, the waste products in your pee would become more concentrated. So electrolytes like chloride, sodium, and potassium and toxins in the form of acids would appear in greater quantities. In fact, the U.S. Army Field Manual advises against drinking urine for survival, explaining that drinking pee tends to worsen dehydration rather than relieving it because, well, salts. And here's another thing about urine and survival. If you are stung by a jellyfish, peeing on yourself or a friend who's been stung will not alleviate the pain. This is a myth. In fact, it could actually worsen it. And that's because Oftentimes, some of the jellyfish's specialized stinging cells are left behind on the skin. And these cells contain tiny little barbs called nematocysts that are filled with venom and are sensitive to environmental changes. So if the cells are doused with urine, which has a far different chemical composition from seawater, the cells detect the change and they launch harpoons of venom into action. So in summary, consider your next porta potty deposit a good Samaritan act. Think twice before swilling your own urine. And please, don't urinate on your friend's leg ever. It's kind of a trippy world we live in, right? I mean, you could make a deposit into a porta potty that could become medicine. One day you might be able to use that medicine. It's all full circle. How do you feel about that? Let us know in the comments below and to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.